Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you seven powerful hidden features on the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra that will take your experience to the next level. So the best part, most of these can be done on other Samsung Galaxy devices as well. So even if you don't have the S25 Ultra, you can still follow along. So let's begin. So the first feature is where you can have a screensaver on your lock screen. So you can now set up a live screensaver that shows when your phone is charging or docked. So instead of just a blank screen, you can make it display photos, colors, or even a clock. So let me show you how to do this. So we'll first go ahead and open the quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down and find display. From here, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find screen saver. Tap on this. Now here you can go ahead and choose what you like. So you have a colors, you have a clock widget. If you have installed this DG clock widget, you have a device control. So if you're connected to Bluetooth, you can go ahead and control your devices. You can have photo frames, you can have photo tables, or you can have photos from your Google Photos. So you can go ahead and choose all these options. So if, say for example, if I choose colors, you can go preview, and this is what you'll see on your Samsung S25 Ultra lock screen. Now let's just say, for example, I've chosen the DG clock widget. If I preview it, this is what you'll see in photo frame and photo table. So here you can basically choose what folders you want to see in your photo screen saver. So we'll go ahead and preview that. So as you can see, this is what we're gonna see on our screen saver. You can even do photo frame. And again, you can go ahead and choose what you wanna see on that screen saver. So these will all come in full screen mode. So this makes your lock screen more useful and stylish. So imagine turning your photo into a mini photo frame while charging or keeping a beautiful wallpaper visible all the time. So it's both practical and aesthetic. Feature number two is where you can change the side button to your power off menu. So by default, pressing and holding the side button on your Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, this activates Google Gemini, as you can see, or your Bixby voice assistant but you can easily change this so that you're holding the button opens the power off menu instead. So let me show you how to do this. So to change this, you wanna go ahead and press the volume down button and the power off button or the side button. This will now bring up the power off menu. Now you wanna go ahead and tap on side button settings. And here you wanna go ahead and tap on long press. So as you can see, currently it's set to the digital assistant, Google. So you wanna go ahead and change this to power off menu. Now you wanna go ahead and press back. And now you wanna go ahead and test it out. So now when you go ahead and long press on the side button, this will open up your power off menu. So this makes shutting down or restarting your phone much faster and more intuitive. No need to swipe through menus or use extra shortcuts. It's especially handy if you prefer a more traditional setup. The third feature is where you can turn on your music share. So music share lets you connect your Bluetooth speaker or headphones and then share that connection with friends without disconnecting your own. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up settings, scroll down and find advanced settings. So here you wanna go ahead and find connections. And then from there, you wanna go ahead and find Bluetooth. Now you wanna go ahead and tap on the three dots and then tap on advanced settings. From here, you wanna find music share. Tap on this and turn this feature on. So as you can see, it lets nearby friends play music on your Bluetooth speaker. So on this phone, you need to turn on music share and then you need to connect to a speaker. On your friend's phone, you need to go to the list of Bluetooth devices and tap the speaker to connect, then start playing the music. So both phone needs to have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on while sharing. So as you can see, you can configure all this. So you can share devices with your contacts only or with everyone. You can ask permission to connect and you can disconnect when nothing is played for 10 minutes. So these are the Bluetooth devices which you can connect to. However, you can go ahead and expand this by connecting to more Bluetooth devices. So this is perfect for parties or group settings. You don't have to keep reconnecting Bluetooth every time someone else wants to play music. So it keeps the vibe going seamlessly. The fourth feature is where you can download the K-pop Demon Hunter theme or wallpaper collection. So Samsung's Galaxy Store has exclusive K-pop Demon Hunter collection, including wallpapers, icons, and themes inspired by the hit series. So if you're a big fan, then let me show you how to download this. So here we'll go ahead and open up the Galaxy Store. Now in the Galaxy Store, you wanna go ahead and tap on this gift icon here at the top right, and then you'll find download and claim your theme. So you can download Netflix and claim your theme. Tap on this. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and you wanna go ahead and join this event. So the event runs between the 13th of August till the 12th of September. If you scroll down more, 
you'll see the steps of how to join in this event. So the step one is to click and join the event button. You need to go ahead and agree to the terms and condition. Now step two is you need to download the Netflix app. Step three is you need to launch the app using the open Netflix button and then download the K-pop Demon Hunter theme and wallpaper from the event page. So we'll go ahead and do this. Agree to the terms and condition. Now we'll go ahead and download Netflix. So we'll go ahead and open it, I already have it. So now once you have completed this step here to download Netflix and you've opened the series, you can go ahead and scroll down and go ahead and open up step four, which is to download the theme. So tap on download, and then this will take you to your K-pop Demon Hunter special theme. So you can go ahead and tap on download. This will now download the theme for you and then apply it. And once that's done, the theme now has been applied. So as you can see, so now when you go ahead and see your lock screen, this is what you'll see. When you go ahead and look at your home screen, this is what your dialer will look like. So there you go. This is a great way to personalize your S25 Ultra and make it stand out while showing off your fandom. So Plus Themes gives your device a fresh new look without needing third-party apps. The sixth feature is where you can share Wi-Fi connection with a QR code. So instead of reading out your Wi-Fi password to someone, you can simply generate a QR code that your friends can scan to connect instantly. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up settings. Now you'll go ahead and tap on connections. Now tap on Wi-Fi. So as you can see, I'm already connected to a Wi-Fi called iPhone 16 Pro Max. So this is a hotspot which I've created from my iPhone. Now here if I want the details for QR code to connect to this Wi-Fi, I can go ahead and tap on the settings icon here. Next, I can go ahead and tap on QR code at the bottom right. So this QR code will have all the details like what is the name of the network and what is the password and what security level it requires. So someone can just come along, open the camera, scan this QR code, and once it scans, it'll basically start to connect to this network called iPhone 16 Pro Max. So this will basically let you connect to the network without entering the password. This QR code includes a network password. It isn't encrypted. So anyone access to this QR code can find out the network's password. So be careful when you share this. So this is super fast, secure, and convenient. No more spelling out long, complicated passwords. Just scan and you're online. The sixth feature is where you can install APK from unknown sources. So Samsung Autoblocker sometimes prevents APK installation from outside the Play Store or Galaxy Store. So let me show you how you can turn on install APK from unknown sources and how to disable the Autoblocker feature. So first you need to go ahead and open up the quick panel menu, go into settings, scroll down and find security and privacy. Next, go ahead and scroll down and find more security features or settings. Now scroll all the way down until you see install unknown apps. Tap on this. And now you wanna go ahead and allow all these apps to install unknown apps. So by default, your phone can only install apps from approved sources such as a Play Store or Galaxy. So say for example, if you download an APK from Chrome, you need to go ahead and allow that to install unknown apps and your file as well, so my file. Now once that's done, you wanna go ahead and go into settings again. You wanna go ahead and scroll down and find security and privacy. Now here you're gonna go ahead and scroll down and find auto blocker. So as you can see by default auto blocker is turned on. So you wanna go ahead and turn this feature off. And then you wanna go ahead and install the app from the unknown sources. So here is an example, I'll show you how I can download APK from unknown sources and then install it. So I'll download the Android APK. Go ahead and download this. Now I'll go ahead and open this in the My Files app. So as you've seen before, My Files app is allowed to install apps from unknown sources. So we'll go ahead and open this. Now this is a file which I've just downloaded. I can go ahead and tap on this and then this will allow me to install. So as you can see, unknown app has been blocked. So your auto blocker has basically blocked this. So you can go and press OK, go into settings, go into security and privacy. Now you're going to go ahead and find auto blocker, switch this off for now. Now go back to the app again and then go ahead and install this. And this will basically let you install that app with no problems. So this gives you the freedom to install apps that aren't on the app store. So it's perfect for beta testing or using apps not available in your region. 
but always be cautious and install only from trusted developers. And lastly, the seventh feature is where you can get new expressions for your Galaxy AI avatar. So with the Galaxy AI, you can now add new expressions and animations to your personalized avatar. So these can be used in chats, calls, or social media. So let me show you how to get them. So here we'll go ahead and open up settings. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find advanced features. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down again and find Galaxy A avatar. Now here, I assume you have already made your own avatar. So you'll see something like this. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and tap on avatar stickers. And here, this will allow you to add all these new avatar stickers. So at the top here, you can go ahead and download stickers. So you can go ahead and download all these different expressions. So smiles and loves, happy and celebrating, sensitive soul, new expressions, everyday optimist, casual cynic, and many more. So let's just say, for example, you like smiles and love, so we can go ahead and download this. Now once downloaded, you wanna go back. So now once you go back, all of the new avatar expressions has been loaded. So you can go ahead and choose any of them. And you can go ahead and set it as a profile pic, share it in messages, or add it to your gallery. So this makes your communication more fun and expressive, letting you stand out with unique AI-powered reactions and stickers that reflect your mood. And that wraps up our seven awesome features of the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Remember, most of these tricks also work on other Galaxy devices, so don't worry if you're not using the Ultra. So if you found this helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more Samsung tips and tricks, and drop a comment below telling me which feature you're most excited to try out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.